do you know there are five nakshatras in your chart of course there are more than five <laughs> but these five nakshatras almost decide everything in your life that's it almost 99% now which are these nakshatras very important so you may see the chart you may see nakshatra lord you may see everything but if you do not study the nature of these nakshatras you will make blunders during analyzing a horoscope or analyzing your own life so therefore see the overall chart use all the parameters of astrology that i have been discussing since last 8 years but do not forget to take the traits of these five nakshatras into consideration and that's exactly what we'll discuss and please let me know which are these five nakshatras for your chart and how do you think patterns have played out in your life okay patterns related to these particular nakshatras inherent traits how have they played out in your life all right god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him for sure and for personalized horoscope consultations you can visit my website down below now the first nakshatra most important the lagna nakshatra so your ascendant your first house is in a particular nakshatra that nakshatra if you go to uh, astrosage.com you will see lagna and it is written one nakshatra will be written okay so that nakshatra is one of the most important nakshatras because that nakshatra will tell you about your patterns in life for example if your lagna nakshatra is rohini then it can mean it can okay uh, provided your fifth house eighth house or twelfth house they are also very prominent it can mean that somehow people are uh, accusing you of uh, doing things which you have never done okay and especially uh, some members of the opposite sex you know scandal sexuality and all this it can mean that okay because rohini nakshatra has all of these uh, elements so it could happen that you know externally you are bumping into people you know who are like kind of uh, running behind you <laughs> or they are you know very desperate to enjoy with you physically and you know they are they are like um, yeah and if you say no then then they go and spread uh, spread fake news against you okay so this could be uh, there okay and uh, you could meet people who are very uh, very much you know like they are very sexually very exact i mean they exaggerate you know sexual pleasure beyond like limits okay so you might bump into such kind of people okay because that shows your external level and externally the most important thing that happens in your life is you meet people because people decide your circumstances right so therefore if your lagna nakshatra is rohini you need to be careful with the opposite sex okay this is very important because this is something which is not in your control you 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 can control your response but you cannot control uh, people doing something to you right to a large extent you cannot so therefore you need to be careful and uh, if your lagna nakshatra is uh, rohini and your 8th house 12th house is very prominent there are too many planets then that's a danger sign okay so therefore take precautions accordingly number 2 your lagnesh nakshatra so first one was your lagna the second one is your lagna lord so your lagna lord suppose your lagna lord is uh, mercury and mercury is placed in a particular nakshatra then what does this mean this this uh, the lagnesh nakshatra shows how you focus in life because the lagna lord shows your focus your where you emphasize in your life okay where you put your energies but the lagnesh nakshatra will tell you how you put your energies that's very important so for example if your lagnesh is placed in rohini then it can happen that you know you are a very creative person you try to see everything from a creative perspective whether it's job relationship profession or your own um, uh, physical appearance or your mind whatever it is okay so now uh, this this is relatively a better situation because now you have more control okay because you can choose where to focus and where not to so for example if your lagnesh is in a very very rajasik nakshatra like you know rohini or could be jeshta for example then you have to be careful that you do not uh, you do not 
do things which uh, you know create trouble for others you know especially the opposite sex okay so you should not run behind other members of the opposite sex okay now i'm not saying you do that but in general uh, you should take care that you do not do this and you know you do not spread fake news you do not spread false information okay about others because they said no to you so if you do this then of course there will be karmic uh, repercussions and you know in next life maybe your lagna nakshatra is ruined and somebody else does this to you okay so take care of it okay but this is uh, this shows you have free will and it is up to you so suppose somebody comes to me and tells me during our consultation that you know oh uh, this uh, man or this lady in my office has you know put a fake case against me and i see their lagna nakshatra is either rohini or jeshta then i am like okay that's a part of your karma maybe uh, you might have done something similar but you cannot change it so deal with it legally but suppose your lagnesh nakshatra is ruining your day time then you tell that somebody has done something against you then there are high chances that you have given some indication because of which that person has done that so i always tell if the lagnesh nakshatra's traits are activated in a bad way i always tell the person you might have some responsibility from your side so therefore do not send out a wrong signal okay nonetheless uh, if there are problems you have to deal with it okay legally or either ways but take care from your side so that you are not the cause of your own distress or the distress of others okay number 3 of course this is classic this is gold it is your chandra nakshatra moon nakshatra okay so very 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 important the moon nakshatra tells you everything about your mind so for example if moon is placed you know in any nakshatra you you will you, you the moon nakshatra will actually tell you how do you feel about your life so for example if now your moon is in rohini okay what what can happen your lagna nakshatra is different your lagnesh nakshatra is different okay so lagna nakshatra will show externally what kind of people you are meeting lagnesh nakshatra will show where you are focusing but now suppose your moon is in rohini okay so what does this mean so this means you will mentally feel the traits of rohini now if you talk at a mental level what are the traits of rohini it is jealousy right so you might feel jealous from a lot of people or you might feel that others are jealous of you either way so that will be very much feeling based you know you, you will feel too much attraction sometimes for the opposite sex or now for you know beauty products or fashion showbiz you know if how many people are liking my photos you know or going on checking instagram all the time you know how many likes how many shares how many comments okay how many dm so you may enjoy you know attention from the opposite sex you know it's like you are you are rejoicing in that you are getting a lot of Uh, sexual validation out of it or okay? your your lust is being awakened and it's getting fulfilled okay so uh, but that's all happening at a mental level so if your moon is in rohini then uh, you need to take care that you control your emotions and you you maintain some uh, you you maintain some boundaries during your interactions with the opposite sex or else things might get out of control if your 5th house 8th house 12th house is having a uh, problems okay for example so the moon nakshatra will tell you how are you feeling how are you feeling today tomorrow every day <laughs> number 4 the venus nakshatra wherever your venus is placed whichever nakshatra that that nakshatra's traits will tell you how your relationship patterns might keep repeating every time now you need to understand very clearly this does not show that suppose your venus is in rohini does not show that you will uh, be meeting attractive people all the time or you will meet scandalous people no that will depend on your dasha so just because your venus is in a particular nakshatra it does not mean that you know you will always be that kind of people that summit that doesn't work so for example if your dasha is of saturn rahu ketu you might meet somebody who is elder to you or uh, from a different caste creed community religion okay so this could happen and in jupiter mercury moon venus are involved it could be uh, the same uh, community okay uh, possibility okay uh, but uh, this does not mean uh, that if your venus is there so irrespective of whatever dasha comes you will just meet you know like uh if venus is in this type does not mean that you will always meet you know crooks and narcissists okay 
<laughs> that is what people think but actually the planetary dashas will dynamically decide what kind of people you meet but one thing which the venus nakshatra will tell you is the kind of patterns that will repeat in your relationships over and over and over and over again does not matter the person is hindu muslim christian sikh jain buddhist <laughs> Whether person is black, white, you know, Indian, Caucasian, Hispanic, or whatever, doesn't matter, okay, uh, it will repeat, okay, so therefore, if your Venus is in a particular nakshatra, which it will be, then you should study the traits of that nakshatra, all the good and the bad, and if you see that these patterns have played out in the past relationship, you know, where you broke off now, now, after your breakup, in the new relationship, again, as I said, depending on the dasha, it may be a different uh, flavor, but the patterns will be the same, okay? So, that is something you need to take care, okay? And last but not the least, the 10th Lord's Nakshatra. So, wherever your 10th Lord is, that Nakshatra will tell you the patterns that will keep repeating in your career, okay? So, for example, if 10th Lord is in Vishaka Nakshatra, you, you may be confused for the majority of your time. Like, you know, what should I do in my career? Should I do this? Should I do that? You know, or should I do two things together? Or, you know, what should I do? Okay, so that could be, uh, that could lead you to confusion because Vishaka Nakshatra has a desire to do two things together. Okay, and there's a proverb, right? Whoever tries to catch two cats or two rabbits uh, at the same time catches none. There's a proverb like that, nonetheless. So therefore, again, uh, depending on your dasha, you know, if Saturn, Rahu, Ketu is involved, you might get job in a startup. If Jupiter, Moon, Mercury, Venus, then it could be a big MNC, okay? But the patterns will be same. So if, if, if you have problems and if, uh, you know, your 10th Lord is in Vishaka and afflicted, then you might always be, you know, like, okay, I'll do one side hustle, I'll do one job, you know, this is not working, that is not working. But suppose your 10th lot is in Vishakha and it is well placed, it is exalted or in Kendra or supported by the natural malefics or lords of trines, then what it means is you can do two things together, you can simultaneously balance, okay? So this is something you need to be aware of and if you do this, then you will make a lot of money, okay? So therefore, study the positive and the negative traits. Try to amplify the positive traits of your 10th Lord's Nakshatra in your profession and try to minimize the negative traits of your 10th Lord's Nakshatra in your profession. All right, that is how you will be successful in life. Thank you so much. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this content and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And for personalized consultations, you can always go down in the description section to my website. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you'll find him for sure. Jai Siya Ram.